This article comes from the Tico Times, which is a local newspaper in Costa Rica. So we're addressing it based on some article that they wrote. And the security crisis in Costa Rica continues to alarm experts in the field. Shootings, executions, deaths of innocent people by stray bullets, and the war of drug traffickers over territories have become a daily occurrence in the country. No BS. If you don't live in Costa Rica, you might not be hearing this stuff. But if you follow it like I do, you understand that this is happening. Although Ecuador's situation is even more serious than Costa Rica's, it serves as a mirror for the country. Experts say that if what is happening in the national territory is not controlled, it is only a matter of time before it becomes a narco state. Whoa, scary. Let's unpack that. And I quote, Ecuador and Costa Rica are heading in a very similar direction. In the sense that Ecuador does not produce coca, but became a large warehouse of cocaine that came from Peru, Bolivia, Colombia, Venezuela, and that caused what is happening now in Ecuador. This comes from Gustavo Mata, former minister of security for the ex-minister. Costa Rica's situation with the South American country is assimilated by what they say is the mini cartels that want to position themselves not only in the domestic market, but they're also fighting amongst themselves to position themselves in the international market. Whoa, scary stuff. If you're down there, I'd love your comments in the forum below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I quote again, for them, it's profitable to sell cocaine in the United States and Europe because of the large quantity. Even 10 or 15 years ago, a kilo of cocaine was around seven or $8,000. Now in Costa Rica, a kilo of cocaine is just around $3,000 to $3,500. So if you're into cocaine, hey, you're getting it pretty cheap. That's a reflection of the large amount of cocaine in the country and in the large warehouse that they call it, says Mata. He also mentioned that this year looks grim due to the number of murders and penetration of drug gangs that are involved in Costa Rican society. The former head of security referred to the latest police interventions, which, according to him, are evidence of great penetration of organized crime. Yes, it is there. Organized crime is in Costa Rica. It's mostly isolated towards San Jose, but it is in Limon as well. He mentioned examples of this, such as mayor's offices, police forces, judges, and the legislative assembly. To quote him again, he says, this indicates that we are heading, without a doubt, to be a narco state. At the moment, it is not. But if we continue in this direction, I would say that we're soon going to be a narco state, he added. Wow, again, I lived there for many, many years, and while I saw gangs, nothing like this. Now, earlier, ex-president Laura Chinchilla had expressed her concerns over the similarities between Costa Rica and Ecuador. Laura Chinchilla was the first female president in Costa Rica, if you didn't know that. Security experts asked the government and all those in charge of decision-making to act promptly and execute adequate plans that will restore peace in the country before it is too late. Are you guys down there? You got boots on the ground? What are you seeing down there? From what I'm seeing, what I've said in past videos, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We cover not only Costa Rica, but the whole globe, but I go to Costa Rica quite frequently. I'm an ex-resident of there, so I do talk about Costa Rica a lot. I follow the news, and I come and regurgitate it here on All World Travel. So again, subscribe if you haven't. There were problems down in San Jose. There were turf wars, um, a lot of different people fighting for drugs. But if you stay out of their way, they'll stay out of yours. It's isolated if you don't do business with those kind of people and you keep your nose clean, you're going to be fine. Literally, that's a pun right there. Candy, nose candy, nose clean, you get it? Anyways, don't be scared of Costa Rica. It's a safe country, but do not go down to San Jose and purchase drugs. Do not get involved with these guys. Uh, again, most of the violence is, is gang on gang and turf war kind of stuff. But it's worth mentioning that Costa Rica is becoming a hotbed for transportation to get cocaine from... South America and Mexico to the United States. So stay tuned. I'll be covering this topic as it further develops. Thanks for watching. I'm Tim with All World, where we teach you how to live like a local and stay informed.